Now we're going to take a look at the dynamic PAVE. Uh, we've already seen automatic and UV, and uh, we already know that there's a lot of times where these uh, don't, don't give us the results uh, completely as we want. They leave gaps, there's stones that don't fit, and they're left uh, on, on place, and we have gaps in, in our PAVE, and we need to fill those in. And there are also times where we don't want to use an automatic solution. We want to place the stones in a very specific way to be a little bit more artistic or creative. And that's where the dynamic pave comes into play. It allows us to place the stones rather than an algorithm or something like that. So what we're going to do here, let me, uh, let me bring, uh, open up the, the, the document that we can use for the pave. Let me find it over here. Here we go. The same one we use for the automatic pave. And just so you know, all these files uh, that I'm using, you can download them from the Rhino Gold website. Now that I have my model here, I am going to go to uh, pave dynamic. Now it's asking me to select my surface, so I go to select click on that surface right there on top and now I'm ready to begin uh, placing so what this allows me to do now is design the pave or lay the stones in the way that I want so maybe maybe I can go over here with a two millimeter start off with two millimeters and uh, notice that the gap that I have is 0.2 right and notice it here it says allow collision and that's not selected so uh, I'm going to select to play, begin placing my stone. So I'm going to notice it's blue. I'm going to place the first one there. That's my center stone. And I'm going to make, notice how it's red. When I'm going to place the second one, if I go into farther in than the gap, it doesn't let me place it in until it's blue. Then I'm respecting that gap. And then I can place the stone wherever I want. But I just want that size in the middle there. Now I'm going to hit enter and maybe go here and change to 1.75. Select and now begin to place them in uh, there. And then maybe one right here. And the other one will be over here. So you, this is a very manual process uh, allowing you to get as creative as you know, as you want, you know, about your, uh, the pave that you're making here. Now I'm going to change to a different stone. Maybe go to 1.5 and uh, put these guys in here. And notice as, as long as I'm in the middle there, it won't let, let me place it in. I can click as much as I want. It won't put it in. It won't let me put that stone in there until I'm within the blue, which I'm respecting the parameters that I specified. Now, if I hit here and I click Allow Collision, now I can go in and I can place them wherever I want. And I can make, make them all cluster together which in this case, obviously, I'm just purposely making mistakes. Now let me hit enter. Notice that you can undo. So I'm going to undo all those that I just threw in there. And I'm going to continue uh, respecting my gap. And click OK. And then, you know, we have our, uh, you can configure your pave exactly the way you like. Uh, one thing to also be, you know, realize is that the pave dynamic is a great complement to the automatic pave. Uh, take a look at this example. If I do an automatic pave on this surface, there, maybe the gap will be 0.3, and the stones will be uh, point, I'm sorry, not point, 0.1.75, there. And I'm going to click Preview. And there is my, my beginning pave. Maybe I'll keep the gap distance here, Preview. Uh, 
And once, once that has been calculated, I'll go ahead and click OK. And there is our starting pave. And now we can go ahead and decide, OK, now we're going to use dynamic. We pick the surface. And uh, these were 1.75, so we'll go with 1.4 maybe. And uh, we select. And now we can go over there, start filling in the gaps wherever we can. Right here, right there, right in there. So as you can see, you can use one tool to get you as far into your pave as you can and then use the dynamic to fill in the rest and finish your pave. So remember, you know, one, one, you know, you can use automatic or UV to get you as far along as you can, and then you can use the dynamic to fill in the rest, you know, of the, of the gaps and complete the pave, or use the dynamic just to be able to put the stones in whichever order you like.